8.7 million species, 7 billion humans, only one Earth. How long will it take for the world to reach breaking point? How long will it take to run out of resources? How long will it be until the end? Only maths can calculate how we can survive. Maths is our future. Overpopulation is defined as the condition of having a population so dense as to cause environmental deterioration, impaired quality of life or a population crash. A significant rise in global population is credited to a number of factors including reduced mortality rate, better medical facilities, better standards of living, higher birth rates and increasing technological advances. Statistics from the United States Census Bureau states that there are currently 7 billion people living on planet Earth. However, mathematicians around the world have concluded that when the human population reaches 10 billion, the Earth will no longer be able to sustain life. Mathematics enables us to determine the point at which Earth's human population capacity will reach its limit. There are numerous functions which can model this, for example, the logistic and exponential models. The logistic function works on the premise that the Earth can only sustain a limited, maximum population called the carrying capacity. Due to resources being exhausted, the population cannot increase any further under this model. Exponential equations describe the growth or decay of a factor over time and are used to model social, scientific or personal finance situations such as radioactive decay, interest rates or indeed population growth. By using an exponential equation, we are able to calculate the time before our population reaches 10 billion, and this can be achieved by using logs to rearrange our population growth exponential equation and substituting in the values we know. If we substitute 10 billion into our exponential equation as p, 7 billion into the equation as a, and 0.011 as r, we are able to calculate how many years are left before the Earth reaches its maximum population. This proves that the estimated result is 32.42 years. By converting the decimal form into months, it can be found that the global population will reach a maximum of 10 billion people in an estimated 32 years and 5 months. Indeed, the maximum population will be reached in approximately 2049. Hence, this raises numerous issues concerning the sustainable use of our resources. Without maths, we would never have recognised the global concern of overpopulation, much less attempted to solve it. Thankfully, maths is now leading us down yet another exciting new pathway, space exploration. The future of maths promises to improve our understanding of what lies beyond our world, and possibly solve the problem of overpopulation. We have discovered less than 0.1% of space, and our innate curiosity of the unknown drives our desire to discover more about our universe, and maths is enabling us to do so. The proportionality form of Newton's universal law of gravitation describes the force of gravity between any two masses. The equation for gravitational potential energy calculates the energy an object has due to its position above Earth. Physicians are now exploring different concepts involved in space exploration, such as space-time, which is the concept of time and three-dimensional space regarded as fused in a four-dimensional continuum, and time dilation, which describes a stretching of time that occurs ever so slightly for everyday speeds, but significantly for speeds approaching the speed of light. The equation for time dilation is used to represent the difference of elapsed time between two events as measured by observers either moving relative to each other or differently situated from a gravitational mass or masses. So knowing that we only have an estimated 32 years and 5 months on Earth before the human capacity limit is reached, space is realistically our only option, our only hope, our only future. We can exploit our knowledge of mathematics and apply it to solving future global crises and wholeheartedly pursue space exploration. The only way in which we can further learn and discover about space is maths. Maths is our future.